Hello, everyone. Welcome to Qingdao. I'm actually in Qingdao right now. See what a beautiful city. See what a beautiful city. So just a few days uh, ago, I flew back to China, and I was in Shanghai for for like, three days. Then I flew to Qingdao. I've been here for a day. You know who's from Qingdao? No, no, not Zhang Jike. Me. Yeah, yeah, that's right, that's right. Um, yeah, I was actually, uh, I was not born here, but uh, I've trained here for several years and I've lived here. And yeah, Zhang Jike, yeah, he's from here too. So I'll be staying in Qingdao for, uh, for around 10 days, maybe. And uh, if you have any questions or anything uh, you want to see or you know, training or whatever training centers, I'll be training too. And if you have anything, just uh, message me on Facebook or leave a comment. You know, I'll, uh, I'll try my best. Okay, so today's video, I'll be boosting rubbers. Uh, so these are Chinese rubbers, Hurricane. Uh, this is Hurricane 8, I, I believe it's a new product. Um, I'll be trying this out later. Um, I'll be gluing this uh, for today, I guess. Uh, so this is the national hurricane. Yeah, it's not the blue sponge, but too expensive for me. So I'll be using uh, this booster. So I bought this uh, also in China, I think. And um, I'll be using this glue. It's from the same company, it's called Li Du. I don't know if you guys have seen uh, what I posted in the, what's that called, the community or like the discussion tab. Uh, so I was talking about uh, if you guys want me to talk about something or uh, uh, some techniques, you can film yourself first and then send me the video, and then I can, uh, I guess, analyze it more in depth and talk about it in my video as well. I'll feature your video. So first, I want to talk about how to distinguish fake and real rubbers. Uh, so I know many of you buy these rubbers online and. Uh, I guess the first thing is just look at these fonts and they should be laser um, printed. Also, the sponge should be very even. And then I guess a big part is uh, once you have glue on it and then boost it, it should um, you know, curve up evenly. And when you play, you know, I guess you can feel it. Before you glue, make sure there's nothing on it. Okay, now let's boost it. So there are many ways to boost the rubber. Um, I guess the most common way is to put one layer of glue, then put um, a few layers of booster, and then glue again, and then you stick it on your uh, racket. Well, I mean, some people say if you put booster directly on your sponge, it curves up much faster, but uh, it also uh, decays, decays much faster. But don't worry about the first layer of glue. Booster will penetrate the glue. And if you don't put the first layer, the rubber is gonna curve up very badly. It's gonna curve up like probably like this. You can't really um, glue that on. And then you would wait for uh, several days. So it's not very convenient. And I recommend you put um, one layer of glue first. And also depending on the thickness of your glue, because the penetrating power is different, the booster might get to the rubber faster or slow, slower. So I guess that you have to try it out yourself. You know, different combinations of glue and booster to give you different results. So you should try out and see which gives you the best result. But this is pretty thin. Maybe I should have used this one. This is very thin, oh Jesus. Don't apply anything before it dries, and uh, yeah, when it dries, it should be transparent. Okay, I just washed my uh, this little sponge. Um, do you guys reuse your sponge? Because every time I just throw it away after I used it. 
but uh, I find him very costly. You don't have to put a lot, I guess, just enough for it to spread um, one layer. So you start from the center, yeah, and then you go in a circle, go in circles, and then you make your way. see it oh what are I doing here whoops so yeah you start from the center and then you spin in circle okay so one complete layer of booster I can feel it start to uh, curve up a little bit see now a lot of people use blow dryer to blow dry your uh, glue or booster. Now that's okay for glue, uh, try, try not to blow dry your booster. Because when booster gets hot, it, it starts to uh, release uh, gas really fast and it, uh, it's not good for your sponge. Just leave it somewhere clean and let it sit there. Don't touch it, get away from it. And then check back in maybe two hours, three hours, or even longer, um, and see how well this thing curves up. All right, hello, welcome back. So um, here it is. Well, it's been sitting here for a long time because yesterday I, I think I put too much booster on it and. Uh, I guess it worked out, but uh, probably only gonna apply this one layer of booster. We can take a look at how much it curves. And it should curve up um, evenly. All right, like this. This looks pretty good. I isn't playing today, so I have to stick this on. But if you have more time, then maybe you can wait a little longer so it, it, it'll flatten out. A little bit more. All right, now it's time to put some glue on. So I'll probably use this one because it's much thicker than this. It's easier to uh, get it to stay on the rubber. If you bought Neo a uh, Hurricane. That's already pre-boosted, um, so it means you can just play it off. Uh, just put glue on, and then play for you know a month or so, I think, because uh, I used it last time and it worked worked okay. And then later when you take it off, then you put more booster on. And uh, when when booster layers get thicker and thicker, it's gonna be really heavy. And, it's, and you might need to take it off. And you need to de-booster. Means you have to rip the booster layers off so it's a clean sponge and then you put a uh, booster on it again. I'll show you how to do that uh, probably in future videos. around the edge um, so sticks on the racket doesn't fly off oh, smells oh, smells like shit jeez Okay, I'm back. So, uh, let's see. Just 
So remember to press on the edge so it's uh, firmly attached to your racket. And, uh, Yes, it's all right. Oh, this part is a bit weird, but uh, I usually like to leave um, some room here. Um, although it's not it's probably not accepted in games, but for training, I have to leave some so it doesn't um, hit my racket when I uh, <coughs> hit the table, and also. When I take it off next time, it's gonna shrink, so it gives room for you know uh, the future, I guess. And usually after boosting, um, you can see the part that's not um, that's extra outside the edge. It kind of um, wrinkles up. Or, yes, okay. You can see here this part is in fact not flat. Alright, I'll be trying this today and uh, see how how it works, uh, if it's good, and I'll see you guys next time.